Abraham and Isaac, Genesis 22. Know that when, know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham, Galatians 3, 7. After Isaac's birth, Abraham knew he could trust God to keep his promises, even if they seemed impossible. Abraham loved his son Isaac and was proud of him. God had promised Abraham that through Isaac, his family would be too big to count. And God had promised that the whole earth would be blessed enough through Abraham's family. Then something very confusing happened. God told Abraham that Isaac needed to be a sacrifice for Abraham's sin, not a lamb or goat or a dove or any other animal. Isaac, his promised son. Abraham had waited so long for this son. Would real would God really take Isaac? But Abraham believed that God was good. He trusted God, so he took Isaac to the place God told him about, called Mount Mo- Moriah. Abraham told his servants that he and Isaac would go up to the mountain to worship God, and then come back down. As they hiked up the mountain, Isaac asked his dad, Where is the animal for the sacrifice? We have the fire and the wood, but no lamb. His father replied that God would provide the lamb, that would die for Abraham's sin. Abraham prepared the altar for the sacrifice, and he made everything ready to kill his own, his only son, the son God had given him. But at the last moment, God stopped Abraham. An angel spoke this message. Now I know that you fear God, seeing you have, with, have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Genesis twenty two twelve. God provided an animal to die in Isaac's place. He promised again that Abraham's family would bless the whole world. Through Abraham's family, God would keep his promise to the first man and woman. A son would come to the end of all evil and make all things good again. People would have to, would have to wait a long time for the promised son, just as Abraham had waited a long time for Isaac. Have you ever given up something special to you? How did that make you feel?